Good afternoon friends and welcome. Today is our next session of plastic analysis. Today we shall start with the actual analysis of beams and frames. Last session we have seen two methods for plastic analysis. One was tactical method. The another method is kinematic method. So statical method we have limitation for this that we should be able to know the bending moment shape the bending moment diagrams shape in advance so it is not possible to identify or know the bending moment diagram shape for a multi span beam as well as for a portal frame so we will or we prefer kinematic method so today we shall start with the simplest problem that is a simply supported beam subjected to an eccentric point load and we will find out what is the collapse load for this beam okay so let us start the simply supported beam which is subjected to an eccentric point load simply supported beam ab and point load is w we have to find this value of w in terms of plastic moment we shall assume that distance of this load from support a is small a and the distance from support b is small b overall span of the beam is small l so that a plus b is equal to l now as per strain energy theory or any elastic theory whenever beam is subjected to loading it is going to deform so the deform shape of this beam is a curve however the deformation under this point load will be very small hence what we are going to assume is or at approximate is that whatever the curve we are getting is a straight line from support to point load and from point load to support so let us draw the deform shape of the beam which is nothing but here beam mechanism okay this will be known as beam mechanism so this deformation of the beam is delta at both the ends beam will undergo rotation since loading is not symmetric it is eccentric loading so rotations at both the ends will be different we shall assume them to be theta 1 and theta 2 okay so kinematic approach means you have to decide or you will have to bring into picture the kinematics part means what is basic definition of kinematics from engineering mechanics you just consider what are the effects of forces applied you do not consider forces okay so forces are here external loading and what are the effects of forces delta theta 1 theta 2 okay one linear deformation and two rotations so these are kinematic effects okay that is why the method is known as kinematic method now kinematic method follows a very simple principle of virtual work energy what is virtual work energy external work done is equal to internal work done so here what is the external work done we need to see what is external load w and what is deformation delta so w into delta is external work done so what will be internal work done internal work done will be what are the actions induced because of external work that we have to bring into picture so theta 1 theta 2 are rotations so linear deformation it is corresponding to load angular deformations will be corresponding to moments 
in this case these will be plastic moments so we have to identify where these plastic moments will be so here we need to find what is maximum moments location okay so at what point moment will be maximum obviously in this case it is plastic moment not elastic moment because analysis is plastic analysis so plastic moment will be obviously maximum under the point low okay so show here the plastic moment mp here and the other is on the other side okay if you consider this right angled triangle this is theta 1 this is theta 2 okay now we will do some uh, algebraic part we will separate out these two triangles So this is our smaller triangle, here is angle theta 1, this is delta and this side is small a. Another larger triangle is here, whose vertical side is again delta, larger side is small b and this is theta 2, okay. So from this you can write as tan theta 1 is equal to delta upon A. Now since this delta is very very small hence the rotation is also going to be extremely small. So we can say that tan theta 1 is approximately equal to theta 1. So we can rewrite this as theta 1 is equal to delta upon A. So from this delta will be a times theta 1. Similarly here we can write theta 2 as delta upon b. So from this delta is equal to b times theta 2. So we can equate both the values. Okay. So a theta 1 is equal to b theta 2. From here we will express theta 1 in terms of theta 2 and we will then eliminate theta 2. So theta 1 from here is b by a times theta 2. b by a times theta 2. So this is what is required for virtual work energy principle so virtual work energy principle is external work done is equal to internal work done what is internal work done internal work done is movement into rotation what is external work done external load into deformation or displacement Okay, so internal work done, it is mp times theta 1, it is in this part, another mp into theta 2 is there, it is in the other part, so plus mp into theta 2. Now we will replace theta 1 as theta 2, you can do reverse also, you can express theta 2 in terms of theta 1 anything you can do so mp into what is theta 2 b by a into theta 2 plus mp into theta 2 now we will take mp into theta 2 common so what will be there b upon a from first term and plus 1 in the second term so what is here 
एम पी इन टू थीटा टू इन टू ब्रैकेट यू टेक क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो दिस विल बी ए प्लस बी अपॉन ए सो दिस विल बी एम पी थीटा टू इन टू ए प्लस बी इज स्मॉल एल अपॉन ए सो दिस इज ऑर इंटरनल वर्क डन इन टर्म्स ऑफ मूवमेंट एंड थीटा टू एंड स्पैन नाउ वट इज एक्सटर्नल वर्क डन एक्सटर्नल वर्क डन इज लोड इन टू डिफॉर्मेशन लोड इज एक्सटर्नल लोड डब्ल्यू दैट इज वॉट वी हैव टू फाइंड इन टू डिफॉर्मेशन इज डेल्टा वॉट इज डेल्टा आई दे सब्सटीट्यूट ए थीटा वन और बी थीटा टू so we will go with b theta two because our internal work done is in terms of theta two if this is in terms of theta one you go with this value if this is in theta two you go with this delta value so w into b theta two okay now now we will equate these two so external work done is equal to internal work done what is external work done w small b theta 2 is equal to mp theta 2 into l upon a so this theta 2 gets cancelled this b will go on right hand side on the numerator side okay so w is equal to mp into l upon ab so we can write this as mp what will be plastic moment here we were asked to find collapse load we have found if you are asked to find moment you will rewrite this as further mp is equal to w ab upon l so we are going to get same result as that of elastic moment moment will be constant only its capacity will be more now there is a special case what special case if small a is equal to small b is equal to l by 2 that is instead of eccentric point load now point load is at the center b is subjected to central point load in that case we will substitute a and b as l by 2 here and we will find out again what is mp so w into a l by 2 b again l by 2 divided by l so this is w l square by 4 divided by l so one l gets cancelled in the numerator so mp will be w l by 4 so mp is w l by 4 when w is placed centrally on a simply supported beam mp is w ab by l when w is placed eccentrically on a simply supported beam is it clear i hope this was simple and easy uh, such simple steps will be there even in the further complicated problems only that the analysis will be somewhat time consuming that is only the concept in the next sessions we will do some more variety of problems okay please uh, please uh, tell me uh, or give me your responses on these numericals whether you have understood please do write in comment section if you are new to this channel 
do subscribe the channel hit the bell icon and i am waiting for your responses thank you